don't forget to subscribe. Another day, another PC build, boys. Today I'm doing more of a gray and black theme, no RGB, something very low profile, not anything too gamery. I do like this case I picked out though. I will go ahead and open that real quick and just take it out. Well, that was easy. This one's a lot easier to open than my other case I had to do. All right, this is the case. Oh, what the heck? Looks like they tied the freaking... Okay, that's an interesting way of putting this stuff in here. They kind of like tied it to the back of the case. It's a little warmer today than it was the other video I did. So it is... I might have to take off this jacket. So, pretty nice looking case. I really like the clean gray and black it has going on. It's nothing insane. It's, it's not that big either. I like how small it is for a for an ATX case. Now it seems like the fan back here is a Molex fan. I don't know if I like that. I might swap that out later, but we will see what happens. But for now, I'm gonna leave this to the side. We're gonna take the motherboard out of this motherboard. I got I got this open box new egg. Pretty nice deal. I think it was like $77 after shipping to the intax. Um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled. It takes all my boxes I'd like to have for a customer because most customers want Wi-Fi. But it seems to have came with all the uh, proper accessories. And it is sealed. Let me unseal it real quick. There we go. Put this back in the house. Sit right here. As always, we're gonna start with the CPU. That's what I always start with. And I got this Ryzen 5 3600 open box on eBay. It's brand spanking new. There's no uh, signs of usage on the IHS or anything. So I'm pretty sure it hasn't been used before. But regardless, it was a decent price on it and I'm not too upset about it. This is one of these funny looking tray things. So the box is real tiny and cute. I'm gonna save the box. All right, got a processor. Gonna open this bad boy up. Open the latch, seep you out. I'm going to install like that. Then latch it down. Perfect. Then next we're gonna do the, the RAM. I actually like how this RAM looks. It's if you might notice this uh is the same RAM I used from the RAM installation video. I'm recording this earlier in the day than I did the other one. So it's kind of hard to see my screen a little bit because the sun is beaming directly on me. But I think I'm gonna do fine. Now this is a cooler I've never used before. I've never used one from this brand. I never used this model. I never used anything from this brand before, so I have no idea if it's good or not, but it kind of fit this, the uh, theme I was going for, so I figured why not try it out. It was one of the cheaper ones too, so kind of worked out in my favor anyways. This is also brand new. I've never opened it. Uh, seems like, what is this? Okay, these seem to be the mounting kits. Oh, you pull it out like this. I see, I see. Thank you for labeling the bags properly. You know, that's greatly appreciated for me. Like I said, I've never installed one from this brand before. So I might actually have to look the, at the instruction booklet. Oh, you're supposed to like grab it like that. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Always like a cool unboxing experience. This, like so. Huh, pretty nice. I like how this looks. I am going to wait until I have the mounting stuff one before I pull the cooler out, just so it's not all over the place. I will have to unscrew these first. All right, we have that off and I believe, I should probably look at the instructions, shouldn't I? That's that would probably be a smart thing to do before I jump to conclusions, because it's how you always mess up. Okay, so it is different. We have to screw on those things. Okay, I see, I see. I think I understand what we're supposed to do. So let's just put this back wherever it came from. So we basically just had to take these and screw them on with our, our, our hands.
Okay, now we can pull out the cooler. Oh, you can open it at the side. Okay, see, this is why I like to see. I love packaging that just makes sense. You can just open it at the side and I have to freaking pull it out. This is actually really nice. It's a pretty nice looking cooler though. I actually do like it. It's nice and matte. There's not really much metal showing. And it does seem like we have pre-applied thermal paste this time around, so I don't have to show you my application method again. <laughs> I don't know how people feel about pre-applied thermal paste, but whenever it's available, I, I just kind of use it. I don't really see a big problem with it. You need to line this up real quick, make sure it's in the right place. I mean, oh, I gotta take out the freaking fan, don't I? Oh my God. So that's how you take it off. You take off the top part and then you can slide it straight off. Okay, that's actually really nice. Oh, oh, it just comes right off like that. Cool. And then this just sort of slides off. Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> now we can install the cooler. Awesome. I will say I really like the, the shape of this heat sink. I don't know if that really matters much. It really doesn't, but I just, I don't know. Something about the, the curviness of it. I don't know, it looks kind of nice. I'm not trying to raise the CPU cooler guys, I promise. All right, looks good, looks good. Now we can put the fan back on like so. And then this top part just kind of clips back on like this. Next, we have the storage. I'm not gonna forget forget it this time, hopefully. I did forget a freaking screw, screwdriver to uh, use for it though. So uh, let me go grab one. It's starting to become a recurring theme where I just kind of like forget vital parts of the PC built in my house, but I think we're gonna be fine. All right, so we got the SSD. Looks good to me. Take off this. This case is definitely a bit more bare bones than the other one I did, but I still like the uh, overall design of it. It's not really too crazy, which I actually do value. Got the power supply. Let's see how the side panel real quick too. I haven't used a side panel that's been secured by screws in so long. Most of the ones I've been using lately have been just kind of snap one, but this definitely takes you back to my first case I ever used. It's one of those Cooler Master box cases. I don't know what you freaking call them. Slide that off. And it, this is tempered glass, so it's not all basic. What is this? I'm reading it upside down. <laughs> Okay, just simple little instruction manual. Eh. Got some more screws. This board right here. Like this. Line it up with the rear I.O. This is one of those cases where you have to kind of break off the this part. There we go. I'm gonna cut away real quick just so I can get everything routed where I want and then I'll get right back when I go to actually plug in everything. All right, this is how we're doing in terms of routing everything. I and mean, I think it looks pretty good. I didn't really do anything crazy, but it it's doing its job. I did go ahead and plug in anything that's super tedious to plug in, like these low front panel connectors and then these freaking four pin CPU connectors. But as for the stuff that's a bit easier, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Looks good to me. I also forgot to plug in the CPU fan. That would probably be important. There we go. Plug that in. Next, all we got is the GPU, and we're going to be done, finally. I always like these cards. These are just 
very nice and simple very clean just nothing too crazy i like how they're not really stand out they don't like to stand out too much all right slot the gpu in screw the gpu down slot the connector in All right, that just about does it for this PC build. I think we've done a pretty good job with making everything look nice and neat. Nothing's too crazy though. Yeah, I think it's turned out great. I'm gonna put the side panel back on real quick and then we'll finish up everything. Thank you for watching. Wow.